Hello everyone, I'm Nick DeSanctis here with your weekend preview. We'll open today with volleyball, who has two big Patriot League matches this weekend. Head coach Alma Kovaci excited for her team to return back home to Gillis Fieldhouse and knows she's facing two very good Patriot League opponents. Well, we're excited to be home. We have been uh, on the road for a while, so it's always great to start the Patriot League uh, season at home. We open up with Lehigh tomorrow at 7 and Bucknell. Both very good teams. Uh, Lehigh is very balanced and very dynamic, so it's going to be a great match tomorrow. Again, uh, we are continuing to worry about the, the things on our side, but focusing on serving, passing, and continue to work on our serve and block system. So um, it will be a great, great match tomorrow. The Sprint football team takes on post tonight at 7 o'clock at Shea Stadium, a game I'll have for you this evening on night vision. Head coach Mark West knows he's going up against a very dangerous team as post has won six straight games going back to last season. Friday night we take on Post University uh, out of Waterbury, Connecticut. Um, they're a very athletic uh, team. They've got a lot of team speed. Uh, they've, uh, you know, they're off to a good start this year by beating Cornell uh, last weekend and you know, more importantly, they, uh, you know, they're riding pretty high right now because, you know, they're on really a six-game winning streak dating back to last season. You know, they won the last five games of the year. So, so they've got a dangerous team. Uh, you know, they're very good with their special teams play. They, they had a kickoff uh, for a return last week, uh, blocked a punt. Um, you know, so we, we have to be smart in our assignments. Uh, we have to be disciplined, um, you know, and we just have to really – uh, you know, be a more physical football team, which is what our strength is. So, uh, you know, we're looking to improve upon last weekend. Uh, you know, we started out slow uh, against uh, Penn, but managed to, you know, pick things up uh, by the second quarter. So, you know, we'd like to improve upon that this weekend by, you know, getting off to a better start in that first quarter uh, and see if we can't uh, keep the pressure on post this Friday night. The men's soccer team takes to the pitch on Sunday at Clinton Field as they'll square off with Houston Baptist, a team that they have never before faced in the history of the program. Head coach Russell Payne looking forward to the chance to give his players the opportunity to go up against a complete unknown. We're looking forward this weekend. We have Houston Baptist coming to town, um, You know, our first meeting with them, and i um, very excited to, to give the guys a chance to play against um, you know, a little bit of an unknown. Um, so we're doing our research. I'm sure they're doing the same with, on us. And um, you know, Sunday afternoon, one o'clock game here at West Point is all exciting. Always exciting. Uh, we hope to get a lot of great community support. And um, you know, right now we want to continue to to do the things that have helped us to be successful up to this point in the season. The football team takes on Wake Forest tomorrow at noon at Mikey Stadium. Head coach Rich Ellerson was pleased with the effort and the emotion that his team put out as they took on a top five opponent in Stanford and hopes that they can carry that into tomorrow's game against Wake. What we were able to do on Saturday, that in terms of that effort and that and that that emotion, that's now the that's now the baseline. You know, the path forward is is up from there. That's that's what it feels like to be on the edge. That's what it feels like to go out there and come out of your shoes for 60 minutes. Our emotions did not work against us. And now while we're doing that, let's take another step forward with respect to precision and the ball and the, and the details of our assignments. We, we, we got back on the right side of the penalty thing. Um, we were on the right side of the turnover thing for the game, but we still have a ball on the ground in a critical situation that can make a difference. For up-to-date information on all your Army sports teams, visit GoArmySports.com. That's your weekend preview. For Night Vision, I'm Nick DeSanctis.